everyone! Today's stitching is brought to you by the Columbia River. So let me let you take a view of what I'm stitching uh, in front of. Yes, I think we have found the perfect spot. So today, I am, got my little sun hat, got my water, corn nuts from Trader Joe's, yum. Have my little Valdani thread box from Temecula Quilt Company with the colors I'm using this morning. I have my stitching pillow and my project. I decided today I really needed to do that uh, embroidery with the press and seal because I wanted to get that press and seal off of this block. So that's what we're going to do today. I am going to just do a, oh look at this, here I thought I was all situated and I don't have scissors so I have to go back in Penny and Penny, Penny is right there. Yes, she is. So I'll be right back. Since I was going to work on the center block of um, Remember the Giver, which is a timeless traditions pattern by Norma Wally, I decided I should use my bee scissors. That were this little uh, scissor fob was gifted to me and it was, it's so adorable. It has a little bee at the end and just really sweet. So I attached it to my Kai um, little scissors. Oh, you've got to watch. The view here is spectacular. Uh, so you've got to see this guy. I'm, I hope I don't make you too dizzy uh, moving you around here. But um, He's out there in his um, water scooter thing. <laughs> Is that what they're called? Water scooters. Oh, sorry for the dizzy. Sorry for the dizzy. <laughs> yeah, not a bad place to stitch, you know? What I decided to do with um, this block is to just do a traditional back stitch for the lettering and boy that uh, needle and thread are going right through the press and seal. Nice, nice, nice. Today it's supposed to reach a high of 94. Yikes! So G's out hiking, uh, taking a walk already, trying to get it in before noon. And here I am on the cliff above the Columbia River, stitching away with this nice breeze. It's just a really nice breeze. Love this campground. Um, we spent um, last weekend at Cannon Beach. I do not know what we were thinking. One should never, ever, ever go to Cannon Beach on a weekend. What were we thinking? It was like insane. And the campground, I mean, we were lucky to get a spot for a night, but it was, um, you know, it's not like here where everybody is kind of kicked back and 
and just wanting to relax and enjoy themselves uh, at the Cannon Beach RV Resort. Everyone's in like this fevered pitch to have fun. Gotta have fun. Gotta set up. Gotta, you know, I mean, one is not supposed to be driving 20 miles through a campground looking for your spot. Let me tell you, it's, and oh man, was it crazy. And then everybody setting up really fast, heading off to do all the things. Um, and then coming back, building a big bonfire, just trying to cram, you totally get it, trying to cram as much fun as they can into this short weekend. And the traffic, oh my gosh. We went to the bus stop in, at the campground to, and the bus happened to uh, come by. And, and so we asked, talked to the bus driver and I kind of wanted to get a schedule because to drive is like crazy. And he said, I'm, and we're talking, you know, the campground is walkable to downtown Cannon Beach. Uh, but since it was later in the evening when we arrived, we asked him, well, how, um, how often does the bus come by here to pick up? And he looked like the weight of the world was on him. He said, the traffic is so bad, it could be an hour or more before I get back around. And we're talking two or three miles. I mean, so you kind of, you, you can tell what's going on there. It's a beautiful, beautiful spot. Don't get me wrong. One should see it. And uh, the quilt shop is um, really awesome. But <laughs> unfortunately, the internet, um, what they told me was that the internet um, had, uh, there was a fire in one of the power boxes of the Wi-Fi internet people, Comcast or some something like that. And so the whole town like lost their internet and it wasn't going to be fixed until probably Monday. And so <laughs> everything had to be either cash or if you wanted to use your card, you had to um, leave the number and you know they would run it on Monday <laughs> so I'm sure it just made for a more stressful um, I'm sure the ATM machine at the one bank there probably ran out of cash a long time ago that's the one thing about Penny is um, <laughs> she is so much smaller than our trailer and you, you know, in our trailer, it was the same length, basically, but um, had a lot of different uh, storage options. And so you just, it changes your whole uh, way of traveling and buying. You have to really want it. <laughs> you have to really, really want it because, as G says, something in, something out. But we have figured out that this is the vehicle that is going to keep us on the road longer because it's less physically taxing. I mean, it's so easy and you have your potty with you, you have your snacks with you. So that makes it really nice.
right off our campsite is uh, a nest of ospreys and those babies are almost a failure to launch. The, the poor parents are squawking at them, trying to get them to move on and um, they're flapping their wings but they uh, are just kind of like going. Well here comes a tugboat so let me show you the tugboat. Oh. I hope I caught that. <laughs> Who needs television? Thank goodness that camper next door finally pulled out. My gosh, he was running his engine practically carbon monoxide me out of here for like 15 minutes waiting for his tow car to come. Um, you know, that's just like any neighborhood a campground is. You have good neighbors and bad neighbors. So, oh well. <laughs> Glad he's gone. Anyway. I got my stitching all done, back stitch, and I love how the um, press and seal worked. So now let's see how it comes off. Sticky. Now I'm going to use a little needle to, um, or pin, to take out the little pieces that are still stuck in the center of these letters. Boy, I'm liking how this is, how easy this was. If you're not real confident about your freehanding um, penmanship, this is definitely an option. Wow. Okay. I am definitely sold on that. That turned out, in my mind, spectacular. Definitely a hat-worthy moment. So now I'm going to move inside of Penny. It's starting to get pretty darn hot out here and the sun is beating on me and my stitching arm is starting to feel the burn. So I'll take you inside and show you where I stitch on the inside. So I'm comfortably sitting inside of Penny um, doing some stitching because it was getting quite hot outside. Uh, normally we don't have these shades up uh, because we like the view out on the river but I have them up now because otherwise the light puts me in this dark shadow and you can't even see me. So that's the only reason I have this up. Otherwise, we'd have a beautiful view of the river while we are stitching. Plus I can see out the side windows. These chairs that I've turned around as the driver and passenger seat are um, 
just like sitting at home in our stressless chairs. They are just so um, comfortable. And then I have this little table. So when I'm stitching inside, I don't even need my stitching pillow because I've got this sweet little table. I'm continuing on with my center block of um, Remember the Giver. And I am doing a... Um, Right now I'm just kind of tacking down some things. So the way I tend to approach these blocks is I went ahead and I did a um, blanket stitch around the opening to the beehive. And that kind of tacks down the beehive. And then I'm going to go ahead and stitch down the <clears throat> little white flowers. And I plan on doing a lot of French knots in the center of those flowers. And then I'll move on to the stem and the leaves. So I kind of plan how I'm going to stitch by what looks like it might come up, maybe, or um, wanting to get things on top stitched down before they become loose for some reason. I, it's just the way my brain works. But I really enjoy this spot so I can listen to my book, uh, my audio book, and a um, nice breeze coming in. It's getting hot outside, so I've got this nice shade cover. So there we go. It's um, working really, really nice. Uh, far better than I even anticipated. I did not know how much I would like this, but I really like it. I do. I really like it. And so after I get these flowers stitched down, I'm going to go for a walk on the beach. Well, I finished it yesterday. And what I did was I added um, French knots to the flowers. And I decided to do a feather stitch across the beehive to give it dimension. And then I added a little bee. To the very top. So that was yesterday's project. I am happy that I got that started and that I got that pressed uh, that pressed in uh, seal off of that block. It worked out really good so I would do that again. So today all we're doing today is we are going to be tacking down with just a tiny whip stitch all of Sue Spargo's uh, little circles for my iron holder. So that's it for today. It's another beautiful day. Going to be a hot one. See you next time and thanks so much for hanging out with us. Thanks for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe on Quilt Roadies.